To start a Power Automate Cloudflow from desktop, we'll need an Invoke Web Service. In here, we can send some data to Power Automate Cloud and we can get data back. The URL, that is a URL of the Power Automate Cloudflow that we're trying to start. So we will wait a few seconds with that. The method that will be post, we're sending some data to Power Automate Cloud. And we are having those ones in JSON formats. A JSON is just a simple way of transferring data. It's a format of a string of text and its key value pair based. That means that it looks like this. So it always have a curly bracket in the start and in the end. And in here we have key value pairs. This could, for example, look like this, then a colon, and we can have a value here. We will just be sending a simple test to see that we can actually enable this connection. So the key that will be file name, we can look that up and this will be the value. In real life, this could be, for example, C colon, blah, 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 blah. In the advanced, we will untick the encode request body. You will also need to think a little bit about con connection timeout. It will time out in 30 seconds, but sometimes we have long running power to make Cloudflow that can take like a minute. For example, if you use the AI builder, then you want to change this to, for example, 100 seconds. It doesn't going to cause you any problems if it's going to be shorter, say like 10 seconds, then it will just continue. But it will wait 100 seconds and then it will time out if it doesn't receive a response. So choose your connection timeout accordingly. Finally, these are the things that we get back. We have some headers that we get back. We have a response where our results will be in. And then we have a status code, status code which is just will tell us if it fails, succeeded and so forth. Now scroll up because we'll still still need the URL. We'll go to Power Automate Cloud and create that. So here I'll create a new flow. Choose an automated cloud flow. Choose skip. And up here you will find an HTTP request. Choose the when an HTTP request is received. Here you go. This is the URL that we'll get. But first we will need to fill in some things. We'll need to tell Power Automate Cloud how does the JSON that we're receiving from Power Automate Desktop looks like. Well, we already defined that, so I can choose Use Sample Payload. Either I could put it in here, or I can simply just go to my desktop, and this is the data that I want to send to Cloud. And again, you can add more key value pairs. That those ones just need to be comma separated, and you can have your next key value pairs down here. But we made it very simple for ourselves. So simply just control V, paste it in, then click done. And the schema is uh, created automatically. So now this will trigger our flow. Then we can have a lot of things going on in here, like the AI builder, some Excel work, some SharePoint work, whatever we we're going to need up here in the cloud. And then we'll send the response back. So go find a response and click that one. This also need to go back in a JSON format. Here we don't need to define the schema. So just have a curly bracket in the start and in the end. And here I can say log, I can say your file, and then we can actually have the dynamic file name over here in dynamic content. If you can't see it, you should either maximize your browser up here, or you can just click this little add dynamic content, then find your file name. Then I can say was processed and remember to have a quotation mark in the end. So now we have a trigger and we have a response. I can click save and let me just click save one once more. We will grab the URL up here, here, and we will use it in desktop. So in the URL, paste it in. This is also known as an endpoint and here you'll need to escape the percentage signs here, here, and here. Now click save. Try to run it. And here, over here in web uh, service uh, response, double click it. There you go. We now have made the connection between desktop and cloud. You should click this video. That will be a full demonstration on how you use this. We'll try to leverage the AI builder to do document processing, have the results sent back to desktop again. See you.